What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on NVDA stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then we'll continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price of this asset. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here, let me show you more thoroughly. At this very point, and I've told you that uh, we have a good, very good bounce from the range of uh, resistance that previously was the range of support. And my main assumption was that uh, if this asset breaks uh, this previous bottom, it will confirm uh, the next leg to the downside and probably in this case we should hit uh, the 0 0.786 Fibonacci retracement level at uh, $99.12. And let me show you that we didn't break this range. Instead of this, this asset uh, uh, retested this range of resistance, break it to the upside, then uh, it hovers right around this range and bounced out of uh, this uh, line and went much higher. And this asset gained, uh, let me show it to you, from its lowest point to its highest point, about 55% of potential profit. And uh, right now it is hovering at the range of $161 mark. And uh, we have uh, the most recent uh, data that uh, they published their earnings report. And let me show you this uh, news in details. So, First of all, let me show you that uh, they have a revenue of $5.93 billion versus uh, $5.75 billion expected. Adjusted earnings per share is uh, $0.58 versus uh, 70 cents expected. Gaming revenue $1.57 billion versus $1.32 billion expected. And uh, data center revenue is $3.83 billion versus $3.7 billion expected. NVIDIA Q4 revenue guidance fell just short of Wall Street expectations, uh, coming in at uh, $6 billion. Analysts were hoping for $6.09 billion. Data center revenue jumped uh, some 31 year over year in the quarter, but gaming revenue collapsed 51% year over year. And definitely it is 100% expectable because uh, the uh, gaming revenue uh, were based uh, on uh, the COVID uh, restrictions and a lot of people uh, bought a lot of uh, NVIDIA products in order to play games at home. And uh, right now we can see the relief from this wave and uh, the increase in uh, data center revenue is also very, very expectable because a lot of uh, companies uh, want to uh, move uh, their data into the cloud storage and uh, NVIDIA Solutions is one of the main solutions uh, of uh, these storages uh, on the market. And let me show you another information. Uh, right here you can see that uh, NVIDIA is also working to ensure that it can still sell its high-end products in China. And previously I've told you that uh, we have a lot of uh, bearish pressure from the ban of uh, sales in uh, China. And uh, right here, as you can see, NVIDIA began offering its new A800 chip in the country during Q3 as a replacement uh, for the A100 chip, which uh, the US government said was too powerful to ship to China. The government fears uh, China will use uh, the technology for military applications. Definitely, when the uh, politicians uh, try to solve uh, their problems, uh, uh, a lot of uh, companies uh, might be hit uh, by these uh, decisions, but it is what it is. It is the nature of uh, the market and definitely uh, with this uh, replacement uh, A800 uh, instead of A100 chip, definitely Nvidia shows its flexibility and in general it is a very good sign. On top of that, ahead of its earnings on Wednesday, Nvidia announced uh, a partnership with Microsoft to build one of the most powerful AI supercomputers in the world using Nvidia's uh, chips and Microsoft's Azure infrastructure. The computer is designed to help uh, train large-scale AI systems. So definitely, fundamentally Nvidia is very strong and uh, they have to prove uh, their sustainability on the market, they have to sell a lot of uh, their products and uh, uh, with the potential uh, ban from uh, US government that they cannot sell their products, part of their products uh, uh, to China, definitely it uh, reduces uh, its uh, ability to hit uh, higher price targets for the stock, but I don't think that it might last uh, very long. 
Uh, let me show you another news uh, that was published uh, on Seeking Alpha on November 16th, and that is titled NVIDIA. The bottom is in. And let me quote you the summary of this article. NVIDIA hit my long-term buy in target when the company's stock price uh, cascaded close to $100. However, now that shares have skyrocketed by 60%, the stock isn't exactly cheap anymore. Nevertheless, NVIDIA has excellent growth prospects and immense profitability potential. Despite the possibility of near-term volatility, NVIDIA stock price should appreciate considerably in the coming years. And definitely uh, this article is uh, quite bullish uh, on uh, NVIDIA and uh, I will put the link on this article in the description below. You can read it by yourself in order to make your own conclusion. But in general, let me show you that uh, from its lowest point, from this point to its uh, highest point, as I already mentioned, it uh, gained about 55% uh, of uh, potential profit. And right now uh, we have just a tiny, tiny bounce to the downside. In my opinion, it is uh, not enough uh, to make uh, uh, the retracement happen. And uh, in this uh, case, uh, we should be very uh, cautious with our long position, especially if we will take a look uh, on the analyst's uh, price targets. So, since I made my previous video, we have uh, several new filings. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, filings, and the majority of these uh, companies uh, lowered their price target from 165 to $140. Uh, as Deutsche Bank uh, did, uh, from $190 to uh, $140 as uh, Barclays did, and uh, $170 to $155, 150, uh, $250 to $225. And I have to say that uh, this, uh, as I said, Nvidia already uh, broke uh, these ranges, $155, $140, and $140 right here. This means uh, uh, we pretty much uh, hit the price target in a matter of just a couple of uh, weeks instead of 12 months uh, forecast. And definitely, because of uh, this uh, performance, we have to be very cautious with any position. And uh, let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, definitely uh, this asset uh, is uh, very strong right now with this movement to the upside. And I have to say that uh, if you watch my videos uh, for quite some time, you already know that I uh, use uh, Elliott Wave uh, uh, theory. In my uh, analysis, I use uh, uh, supports and resistances and some other tools uh, like uh, uh, MACD indicator and RSI. But definitely I have much more tools uh, in my pocket and uh, let me show you another analysis that you might uh, use uh, in order to define uh, which uh, targets we might hit. So if I connect uh, these bottoms, as you can see, we have uh, quite strong range uh, of uh, support. And if we project uh, this range uh, to its uh, highest uh, levels, as you can see, we have some kind of channel. And this channel is quite accurate. And uh, we had an attempt to break this range to the upside, then retested the lower and uh, the lower border and uh, broke it with increasing volume. Definitely it was the real uh, breakout of uh, this uh, uh, channel and uh, I have to say that uh, on a greater scale it is quite a bearish channel because usually it breaks to the downside but this is an exception and uh, as you can see right here we retested the upper range of this channel and bounced back uh, to probably the range uh, where we might have the next leg to the upside but I have to say that if we will take a look on a four hours time frame and uh, if we compare this movement to the upside with any other movements, we cannot sustain uh, the uh, movement to the upside for the longer period of time. This means, in my opinion, we still have much higher chances to hit lower price targets. And uh, definitely uh, the next uh, price target to the bullish side is this previous swing high at uh, roughly $191. But uh, the uh, next range uh, from the bearish side uh, is uh, right here at roughly $108. And let me show you again on hourly time frame that uh, if you want to enter uh, the position with this asset right now, definitely you still have uh, the possibility to hit this range. And in this case, uh, your potential profit might be, let me show to you right here, your potential profit might be up to 19%. And the downside uh, potential for this asset is right here. And it is 33% uh, to its lowest point. 
but if you will wait and definitely we might uh, hit some high targets but i don't think that it might be the crucial movements to the upside and uh, eventually this asset should have a retracement and on the retracement if you will add to your position definitely it will reduce your risks and it will increase your profits and in this case, you will have about 41% of upside potential with only 20% of downside potential. This means uh, just to wait for the movement uh, to the downside and accumulate your position if you want to invest in this asset. So I think uh, from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye.